So Kyle, I remember last E3 when Insomniac revealed Sunset Overdrive. It's been a year and I got to play it. I went to Insomniac Studio in Burbank, California and played the game. Since that E3 unveiling, which was just like a CG trailer, we really haven't seen anything from the game, which is disappointing because it just immediately looked very cool. The first thing I thought, which I think most people did, was Mirror's Edge, even though I know it's not first person. Traversal's a big part of it though. What it feels like, especially since it's a third person open world game, is it feels like Tony Hawk meets Infamous. It feels really natural to go from you know, just bouncing off of a car on the street and then start grinding on a power line and then end up grinding on like a balcony of like a skyscraper or something. Because then you build up this style meter and as you build up these style meters and basically get combos going, it makes your weapons stronger. With the Tony Hawk comparison, there is like a story in cutscenes, right? You're not just like dumped in this world right. and going for a high score. The big story mission I did was a big showdown with Fizzy, who's the huge Fizzco mascot. You're like bouncing across these satellites and then, you know, you chain three bounces because there's some platforming elements involved. Mm -hmm. and then send out a shockwave and he's dizzy. Fizzy gets dizzy. And then you shoot him and then it crashes down and it's, it's very dramatic. And then some of the side missions are, hey, there's a comic book guy and he's gonna give you something if you go find his comic books throughout the city or, you know, this little mini game, like go and smash up some TV sets. That is definitely gonna be where Insomniac has to prove themselves is making side missions like worthwhile. You know, the E3 original teaser at the end of that, they kind of hinted at multiplayer. It sounds like it's gonna be separate from the campaign, but we don't know what form it's gonna take. It seems like like this is a direct response to stuff like Fuse or these creators, Drew Murray and Marcus Smith, are coming off the heels of Resistance 3, which was just really gritty and dark. These are guys that started working at Insomniac because they grew up loving Spyro and Ratchet and Clank, and they want to do their own take on that kind of lighthearted, goofy fun. But I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. We went from not knowing that much to knowing a ton, and I got to play it, and it's really fun. So I feel like your excitement that was kind of sparked last E3 is justified from what I've played.